Hey guys, so Apple finally announced the iOS 10 and in this video we'll be discussing 10 new major changes to the OS. So coming at number 1 we got raised to wake feature. Now this feature will wake the phone's lock screen when it's lifted to give you an overview of notifications or updates. It's basically the same thing which Android has since the Nexus 6 and it's also available uh, with the Nexus 6P. Uh, but I think it's a, a new thing for the uh, Apple users and uh, you can also interact with your new notifications using 3 Touch which is a nice implementation. So for Android fans, I guess nothing new here. Next off, we have widgets for apps. Now with the help of 3D Touch, you'll be able to use widgets like never before. You don't even have to launch the app at all. For example, with the ESPN app, you'll be able to see things like latest sports scores without even entering the app. And I definitely feel like Apple is now really making the use of 3D Touch because previously it was just like a gimmicky type of thing. But now they are really using it and bringing the change to the iOS 10. Coming at number three, we got Siri. Now Siri is open open for business to third party developers which is great because now you'll be able to ask things like send a WeChat to dad saying I'll be home at 5 and that will bring up an interface to interact with WeChat directly. This is great because not only WeChat, we have a lot of applications that will be supported to work with Siri. For example, WhatsApp, Uber, uh, Runtastic, Runkeeper, uh, Map My Run and Skype and of course more to come in the future. Also Siri will be more intelligent and aware like based on your location, time and stuff like that. It's kind of scary if you ask me, you you know, it's like Apple is turning Siri into a real life bot or something, you know. At number four, we got Photos app that adds new object and scene detection for powerful searching. Your phone will automatically gather relevant photos from like last weekend trip and edit it and make like a highlight reel. It's very similar to what we have on the HTC Zoe app, but it's definitely a new thing for the Apple fans. At number five, we got Apple Maps, which includes all new design change along with the support for third party developers. Maps will offer nearby restaurant suggestions and includes traffic information if there's a lot of traffic ahead maps will proactively offer you an alternative route and note how much time it would save that's a badass update if you ask me you'll be able to book a restaurant or pay for an uber ride directly from the map app thanks for the support for the developers i definitely feel like this is a huge huge step in the right direction uh, from apple and it's one of the main key features of the ios 10 next up is apple music now, just like Apple Maps, it's also getting a new redesign. Um, we got some new tabs like library, for you, browse, radio, search. Lyrics are also being added in the new version of the music app. Coming at number seven, we got Apple News. So just like other Apple apps, we got a new news interface design and is also getting a, a breaking news notifications and subscriptions in iOS 10. At number eight, we have a new app that comes with the iOS 10 called as Apple Home. So this app will let you manage and control all your connected and compatible accessories around the home. HomeKit is now built right into the Apple Swipe Up Control Center so it can be accessed even from your iPhone's lock screen. Next up, we got the phone app which is also evolving. Now in iOS 10, it will have voicemail transcriptions so that you can see what messages have been received without having to listen to them, really time saving. Additionally, this app can now detect when an unknown caller is potentially phone spamming you so you know it can label those calls uh, automatically great work apple great work last but not the least we got new changes to the messaging app which now allow videos to play right inside the message emojis have been made three times bigger uh, apple is also going to highlight the emoji fiber words which means that if you type like i want to eat burger the word burger will change into the emoji of the burger so yeah that's the emoji fiable definition and uh, the new messages app will also be open for developers time for the bonus feature which is something that apple didn't mention in their uh, keynote but uh, seems like we finally have the freedom to remove the stock app uh, and replace them with any app from the app store so that is really great you know apps like mail weather you can uninstall them and uh, finally you got the freedom so yeah that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up also why not subscribe for future videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out